In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we proclaim the birth of John the Baptist. And John means graced by God. We are all graced by God. And so this Eucharist, let us ask for the Lord to continue to bless us and to use us so that we might become channels of God's blessings to all. As we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and healing. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, as we see how the nativity of your Son according to the flesh, draws near. We pray that to us, your unworthy servants, mercy may flow from your word, who, choose, who chose to become flesh of the Virgin Mary and establish among us his dwelling, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord as in the days of old, as in years gone by. Lo, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with doom. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Lift up your heads and see your redemption is near at hand. Lift up your heart, heads and see your redemption is near at hand. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Lift, Lift up your hands and see. Your redemption is near at hand. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. 
He teaches the humble His way. Lift, Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep His covenant and His decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear Him and His covenant for their instruction. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Alleluia, alleluia. O King of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save man whom you formed from the dust. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one amongst your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. And he asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke, blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Zechariah was a temple priest. He and his wife, Elizabeth, were upright, virtuous, holy, and yet childless. And in Jewish culture, for, Han for Elizabeth to be barren was a curse because it meant the withering of one's family, of one's tribe. And therefore, although they served in the temple faithfully, they were somehow feeling unfortunate for not having bore any children. And so they must have been asking the Lord, San kami nagkulang? Bakit kami hindi pinagkaloob ng anak? And so we too, during moments of suffering and misfortune, tend to question the Lord. Saan kami nagkulang? Bakit sunod-sunod ang mga sakuna sa aming pamilya, sa aming angkan? In the face of misfortune, we look for God. We ask the Lord why. We ask the Lord to explain why we have been suffering so frequently. But then the story goes on. The angel of the Lord appeared to Zechariah while he was performing his priestly duties. And uh, the angel proclaimed to him that they had been favored by the Lord and that Elizabeth would give birth to a son despite being advanced in age. And upon exiting the temple precincts, John, who was foretold, Zechariah, the father, became mute. And the people outside blurted out, he must have seen an angel. Very often, we interpret Zechariah's becoming mute as a form of punishment. But a closer reading tells us that his becoming mute was God's sign, God's indicator that he was present in their lives, working out marvelous things. When my classmates and I were first-year high school students here in the Ateneo, we wrote, Hindi kita malilimutan as a uh, to fulfill a class project and to join a school-wide contest. After we won the competition, 
we were amazed how the song spread far and wide. After several months, we would hear our song, such a simple song, being sung all over. And I was made mute because I was facing mystery and I knew the finger of God was here. God was moving in our lives in ways we could not fathom. And so in the face of mystery, we are made mute and we are awed as we somehow intuit the presence of God moving in our lives. Thirdly, eventually Elizabeth gives birth to John. And upon his uh, circumcision, the relatives ask Elizabeth, What name shall we give him? Shall we not call him Zechariah after his father? No, we shall name him John. But there is no one amongst your ancestors who is named John. Nonetheless, when they ask Zechariah the name they would confer upon the child, he also said, we shall name him John, which means graced by God. Such a beautiful name. John means to have been graced by God. And so Elizabeth and Zechariah were graced by God with a son, despite being advanced in age, despite Elizabeth being barren all her life. They were graced by God abundantly and blessed with a son, John. We all have been graced by God. We all have been blessed by God immeasurably. This year, the Tanging Yaman Foundation allocated 9.2 million pesos to buy vegetables from our farmers in Central and Northern Luzon. But because of uh, the great need of our people here in the metropolis, we ended up overspending by half a million. But then uh, last month, a batchmate from the high school whom I had not communicated with for decades. After going through the website of the Tanging Yaman Foundation, sent a check worth 500,000 pesos. Salamat kay batchmate Ben sa yung kabutihang loob. And so I was amazed because certainly this was a huge blessing from the Lord. When in the face of abundant blessings, we cannot help but praise and thank the Lord. And so like Zechariah and Elizabeth, in the face of misfortune, we look for the Lord. In the face of mystery, we intuit the presence of divine mystery. But in the presence, in the face of abundant blessings, we praise and bless the Lord. But my dear friends, we are the ones who look for God and experience God partially or fully because of the frailty of our human perception. Sometimes God seems to be absent. Sometimes there seem to be glimmers of God's presence. Sometimes God is very palpable. But that is due to the frailty of our human perception because the reality is that God is present amongst us. Whether we are facing misfortune, whether we are blessed fully and abundantly, whatever season of the year, whatever condition of our lives, God is Emmanuel present ever with us. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us now present our prayers and petitions to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, purify our hearts that we may offer you praise and fitting service, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us rejoice in the happiness of our neighbors 
and be near to them in their sorrows, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Bless families who gather together at Christmas and renew their love, solidarity, and support for one another, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Let us be grateful for the gift of children and raise them to know, love, and serve you, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us rejoice in the birth of the precursor, for our salvation is near at hand, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for those celebrating their birthdays, especially Marivec, Marivic Pineda, for the healing of Teddy Patag, Rika Trota, and Linda Ferrer, for the repose of the souls of JC Manalo, Johnny Santos, Nim Ke, for the special intentions of Fritz and Marivic Ocampo on their wedding anniversary, Manolo and Marites Lopez, Lor Calma, Susing and Marites Pineda, Lisi Ann Puno and family, Dennis and Nung Tan, Jerry and Harriet Tan, Charlie and Thambi Tan, Henry and Pat Tan, Sam and Marie Bachel, Danny Sigler, Charlie and Lita Salinas. And for all these intentions you have sent to Jesscom and Radio Katipunan, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving Father, may we be ready with lighted lamps to meet your beloved Son at his coming and rejoice in your countless blessings. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. brothers and sisters that their sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for a good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation by which divine worship in its fullness has been inaugurated for us be our perfect reconciliation with you, O Lord, that we may celebrate with minds made pure the nativity of our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling, John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shall so mighty Father forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to address God as loving Father, and so with confidence we now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to his table. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door to me, I will enter his house and dine with him, and he with me. In the face of suffering, we look for God. In the face of mystery, we intuit God's presence. In the face of abundant blessings, we praise and thank the Lord. But if we only see glimmers of God at times, 
or feel His presence palpably at other times, it is because of the frailty of our human perception. The truth is that God is always with us. God is fully present to us. And so grant your peace, O Lord, to those you have nourished with these heavenly gifts, that we may be ready with lighted lamps to meet your dearly beloved Son at his coming, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thanks be to God.